We live on Earth. It's one of the planets in our solar system, but it's not the only planet. Take a tour of our solar neighborhood. Solar means connected to the sun, and the sun is the center of our neighborhood, our solar system. The sun is a star, and stars are basically big balls of super hot plasma. The center of the sun, or its core, is like an enormous atom smasher, which constantly releases energy by crushing atoms together. Heat and light spread out from the sun, warming the rest of the solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. They each revolve around the sun in what's called an orbit. An orbit is the path a planet takes around the sun, and everything is held in place by the force called gravity. The planet nearest the sun is Mercury. Now, nearest doesn't mean close. Mercury is still about 36 million miles away from the sun. Mercury is not much bigger than our moon, and its surface is really hot, seven times hotter than the hottest desert on Earth. But during the night, temperatures there are twice as cold as in Antarctica. The next planet is Venus. It's about 67 million miles from the sun. Venus is about the same size as the Earth, but its atmosphere, or the blanket of gases that surround it, is made up of poisonous gases. It's covered with clouds and reflects a lot of light. That's why Venus is the easiest planet to see in the night sky. The Earth is the third planet from the sun. It's just the right distance from the sun, about 93 million miles, to be warm enough and cool enough for life, and it has enough gravity to hold on to its atmosphere. The Earth has one moon. Moons are smaller objects that orbit a planet the way a planet orbits the sun. They're called natural satellites, and many planets have moons of their own. Heading out, the next planet in the solar system is Mars. Mars is about half the size of the Earth and is about 141 million miles from the sun. It has a thin atmosphere and is known as the red planet because of its red soil. Mars once had water flowing across its surface. Several rovers and space probes are studying Mars to see if humans could travel there. These four planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are known as the inner planets. The next comes a big gap called the asteroid belt. Here, asteroids, or chunks of rock, some as small as pebbles and some as big as mountains, orbit the sun. There's one dwarf planet in the asteroid belt, Ceres. After this gap comes the four outer planets. Jupiter is about 483 million miles from the sun. It's huge, the largest planet in the solar system. 1,300 Earths could fit inside this planet. It's mostly a big ball of gas surrounding a rocky core. It has more than 50 moons, and scientists are still finding more. Next comes Saturn. It's 887 million miles from the sun, and it's known for its rings. The rings are made up of dust, rocks, and chunks of ice. It has more than 80 moons. Saturn is mostly gas and has no surface to walk on. The seventh planet is Uranus, about 1.8 billion miles from the sun. Unlike the other planets, it rotates on its side. Scientists think that's because a huge collision with another planet long ago tipped it over. It has a core of rock and ice about the size of Earth, but the rest of the planet is made of gas. And it too has narrow rings and more than 20 moons. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. Neptune is more than 2.8 billion miles from the sun. It's so far away that sunlight is 900 times dimmer than the light that reaches the Earth. It's also the windiest planet in the solar system, with wind speeds four times greater than the Earth's. Next comes the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt is a donut-shaped region filled with objects made of rock, metals, and frozen ices of methane, ammonia, and water. It's 20 times larger than the asteroid belt. Here you'll find four of the five known dwarf planets, including the most famous, Pluto. Pluto was once classified as a planet, but astronomers changed that in 2006. Pluto is about 3.6 billion miles from the sun. It's small. Pluto's width is only about half that of the United States, but it does have a heart-shaped glacier bigger than Texas. After the Kuiper Belt is the Oort Cloud. The Oort Cloud is the most distant region of our solar system. It's shaped like a huge bubble and is filled with icy pieces of space debris. Scientists think the Oort Cloud may contain billions, even trillions of objects. It's where they think comets come from. So what's beyond our solar system? More stars and more planets. Our solar system is part of a galaxy which contains billions of stars. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. Astronomers have identified more than 3,000 other solar systems in our galaxy and think there may be as many as 100 billion more. 
Many of these solar systems look like ours, but many others look very different. As scientists learn more about the universe, they're finding out just how special our solar system is. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org. <laughs>